So, day three. Day three was all about, uh, there was a so keynote in the morning on making weight. And this is an interesting one for me, I, I don't know. It's, it always sparks debate. You know, making weight in combat sports. Is it just something we've accepted as, as the norm and should we accept it as the norm? You know, if we have time to check all people's equipment and gear on the side of the ring before they go on to fight, surely we can just stand them on scales and go, okay, you're inside X or Y, you know? Or is it just, you know, well, this is part of the game and it's, uh, it's designed to, but uh, it, it, it's a strange one. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fan of, of, of the weight cut stuff. I don't think anyone's a fan of cutting weight, but uh, it, it, it's open to debate in my head, you know? But it, this was an interesting insight into how to actually do it and how it is done kind of safely-ish. Um, the whole idea of a chronic weight loss uh, or a chronic weight cut and an acute weight cut and um, the long term sort of strategies and then the short term fight week strategies are around you know water loading and dehydration and water loading sorry and water cutting and then how to remove kind of things like salt coming out and what percentages you should be looking to cut really, give or take and um, you know carb manipulation and all of this sort of stuff I, I, interesting um, and always sparks a debate, you know, always sparks a debate. So after that there was another workshop for me, uh, third and final sparring workshop and uh, Master Brad I had left at this stage so Grandmaster Boss came in which was cool, didn't expect that, it was a nice bonus. Uh, and yeah, the Grandmaster Boss doing drills on moving side to side, you know, with three people high energy all the time and uh, this whole thing about culture and you can see the way he, he coaches like uh, this culture of you know high energy full demand you're here to work you don't waste any time you know if I'm talking to something we can sit in the squat and we can do something you know high energy all the time and that, it's infectious it's infectious when you're training with Grandmaster Boss it's just you know it's really, really, and that's something that I really took out of this, this, this high intensity culture that, you know, you demand the best from people all the time and, you know, that's its own reward when it pays off for them, you know, and that was really, really cool. Lots of uh, ins and outs on stretching and, uh, you know, uh, how to kind of achieve some of this, some more flexibility stuff and it was really, you know, really, really interesting. And again, Master Kubi came second, hammered off the movement patterns again with the whole, you know, crawl and this time extending it to add strength but pushing and pulling the hands and while you're in a, a crawl position for for tension you know strength after stretching you know warm up first uh, and this whole idea of you know reinforcing a uh, habit and performance sort of behaviors right where you know everything gets a name it's one name you don't trick the brain by calling it you know left and right or front and back or you know uh, the example was given with the with the with the knife attack. You know, all three of these are stabs, but if you name each one of them individually, the brain shortcuts that uh, decision because it, it recognizes the movement pattern with a specific name and it has a specific action tied to it. And really, really, um, really, really good. You know, this whole idea of a filing cabinet. You give something a name, put it in the filing cabinet, lay it in there, and never change it because you just add confusion. Um, other stuff about, uh, sorry, I'm just kind of glancing over my notes as I read this. Uh, sparring shots, counterpoints. So, uh, it's a master cooking session, really, really good. Really, really good. Just, you know, lots of drills, how to reinforce psychic drills. You know, there's three, two, one step, and then you progressively load it. He gets three kicks, and then you counter two kicks, then you counter one kick, then you counter. Then it's sort of you're building this automatic habit, right? Um, and then master cooking tied off, you know, in teams of five. Hello, Kat. So, and then again, Master Tree tidied it off, teams of fives, uh, corners. So it was groups for sparring and it was point sparring and it was in and out and, you know, two scores to stay on and chaining combinations with a partner for ins and outs. Again, high intensity, high energy, super, super high work. Really, really good. He, um, loads of drills that you just need to kind of, that'll be really, really good for conditioning and then for endurance as well as for, for method, you know, so. I enjoyed all of his sessions, and uh, yeah, that was that. So then the kind of the so that was sort of the the, the three day coaching conference that I experienced anyway, and then we closed it off, and uh, yeah, I mean it was like just thinking about the whole weekend. It was it was a really good a really good event. You know, it was in a good location with really good instructors. You know, 
and a culture of learning, right? Everyone wanted to, everyone was open and approachable and, you know, talked to you about whatever you wanted and there was no kind of, uh, there was no hang-ups on it. It was really, really, it was a good, it was a good session. It was a good event. I, I really hope they repeat it. Um, I think it'll only get better. Um, some of the, 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 the pros are, all it for, some of the real takeaways for that are, you know, um, just a lot of, a lot of, you know, picked up a lot of nuances that, that weren't obvious to me as a coach that are, that are ingrained in, in, in some of the coaches that are teaching there for years, you know, and it was really, really good. Um, it was anything negative. I mean, I don't want to speak negative because I'm a positive guy, <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, like those parts of the plyometrics workshop was a bit, uh, a bit hard to work with, but I mean, Overall, I think it was good. I mean, it was, it was, it was too hot. <laughs> it was probably too hot, but I can't do anything about the weather. Um, some of it felt a little bit more like, you know, experts giving seminars on what they know, rather than experts giving seminars on how to coach their specialist skill, right? So what I enjoy, all of the seminars that I got, and I, I took things from it specifically, I, I wonder if as the majority of people being club coaches, if they are taking, are they, get, are they getting all of the fundamentals that they really need as a club coach to bring people on, whether they want to go on to be national coaches or international coaches or whatever, and that's different, but you know, as somebody coaching uh, in a club where I want to give my students the best chance to develop uh, as, as martial artists, as athletes, or as whatever they want to be, um, I want to make sure I put the, the, the correct fundamentals out there and let them then when they go, if they go on and step up to national level or international level, that there isn't holes in their game because I'm missing something in my game as a coach, you know, so I mean, but definitely a lot of that was plugged and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of that was filled in for me and uh, I, I look overall it was a really, really good weekend. I think I haven't heard anyone say anything bad about it and I don't think I will, but uh, yeah, so that was it for me. So if there's any parts of it that, you, you, that I've been talking with that you're really interested in or you want to know about in more detail, let us know. Uh, give us a comment underneath or whatever and we'll add it in there and we'll maybe do more videos on this. So if you like the video format, let us know. We, we, might, we will keep doing this. It's good fun. Um, so we're trying to build out a big take one on knowledge uh, share for everybody and just opinions and let, let them come out. Let them, let's, let's, let's float some ideas and see what we can get. Uh, get some sort of culture of, of communication about Take One, and uh, I'm really, really excited about it, talking Take One though. Okay, cool. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you at the next one. Cheers.